Hello and welcome to MS Stack Hub. This is the continuation of validation series. In this video, we are going to discuss about web methods. Web methods are used to create your own business logic validation with or without regular expression. We are going to see the validation of IP with the regular expression. And this is the description that how we are going to add the method your custom methods with the regular expression similarly we will also check an email from an specific domain without regular expression in this example we will validate an email address from example.com only and finally we will see a library in which the predefined additional methods are available let's flip to visual studio in our previous example we have seen the password and confirm password fields but for this example we need only one field IP address IP address ID IP address name let's jump to the jquery validation section here we are having different different rules like digital digits number password let's remove all these rules and define a web method which is available on validator dot add method first parameter is the name of method IP validator second name is the function which contain first parameter is value second is element and third is additional arguments now let's define the description return now here we need some regular expression to validate the IP validate validator to find the regular expression we can type regular expression IPv4 examples click on first link This is the regular expression for for IP validator. Let's copy this and test the value that this value is the IP or not. And the third parameter is the default message invalid IP address this is the default message if the user has not defined any message this is the default message will going to display wherever the validator method has been used now we are going to use that validation method on this field make sure that the name attribute you have defined so we are going to define the we are going to define the rule against this IP address field this is the rule which we have created and also we are we are making this field required let's check in the browser click on submit 
so now the fields is required now when we enter anything in the field so it is saying invalid IP address now when we provide a valid IP address it is accepting that we are taking an another example uh, like we are validating the domain on an email like we are only accepting the email addresses from example.com only so the field name is email on example.com id is dom email The name is identical similar and we are also providing the method for this validation also so the method name is email domain And we have to pass the function the parameters are identical similar what we have on IP address we have to provide the default message also email are only from example.com and you can define any other message now we have to provide the business logic so over here we have to validate this example.com domain in the email value so what we are doing we are just checking this value index of example.com We are checking that it is containing the example.com or not so we have done the defining part now we have to use this part so over here on this field we are going to use this validation so the validation method name is email domain before that we have to provide another validation required on this field and also we have to give another validation which is email because the email because the field must contain the value which should be an email first and then we are going to check the domain check in the browser reload the browser now we are having the second field click on submit so the fields are required provide an email so it is saying that the email that the field should be an email so provide an email for gmail it is not accepting that it is providing only a valid email address when we have provided let's check what's the problem we have defined the method 
and we have defined the index of okay we have to provide the index not equal to minus one let's check again reload the page click on submit let's provide an email address so it is an invalid now provide a valid email address it is saying email are only from example.com so let's provide the email from example.com it is accepting now provide the IP address it is accepting the IP address also we have seen that how we have to define our custom logic for the validation but these are our custom business logics so there is other there is a library which provides some additional methods this is the library additional method which provide which provide some methods so we can check already implemented method we can open the library I'll provide you the link if you require so when we search over here in the library methods so here we can see that number of methods are already defined over here like we we can see, we can see the alphanumeric method over here so let's see this method and apart from that there are number of methods like big and other methods are available you can check that so we are going to use alphanumeric so we are adding a new field over here alpha we are giving a name to the field now we are adding the validation to the field alphanumeric first of all we are making this field required And then now we have to copy the method alphanumeric what we have seen in the library there are number of methods are available already defined so if you if you want to check you can check it I'll provide you the link let's run the program reload the page so here is a new field we are having alphanumeric when we submit the field it is required when we add any alphabet it is accepting when we add space in this field it is saying letter number and underscore only please so meaning it is not accepting any other than alphanumeric that's it in this video thanks for watching